So we need a fridge with a bunch of cost cut because we're not yet. Maybe my side is just worrying you more. Thank you, Dario and Fani. Thank you guys for joining us today, or well, well, the podcast today. And yeah, just sharing a bit of your story. Um, yeah, just uh, just tell us a bit about Bluebird. Yeah, absolutely, Jacques. Thanks for having us. Um, I think, you know, there's, there's so much to tell and I get this sort of question all the time, like how do Bluebird start and, and what's the origin story? And I never really give the full story, so maybe we'll get into that a bit today. Um, but we're five years in and going strong. Um, amazing team around me and um, yeah, there's, I think, um, where we're going and where we've come from and the reasons we start and all that kind of stuff. So what would you like to know first? I think um, for me, one of the things I, I've been quite curious about, and I've got this in my notes here, but with the, the specialty coffee culture in South Africa, just being super, super young, um, you know, what was the inspiration for you starting a specialty roaster as opposed to just another commercial roaster? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the truth is that I never intended to start a coffee company. Um, Hey guys, we're at the Specialty Coffee Expo in Four Ways, uh, at the Four Ways Mall, having a great time. We've got some tasty coffees on bar. It's really cool to get the industry together from time to time. And um, really well done to the organizers, to Jason um, and Suzanne for putting this together. It's really exciting and uh, we're happy to be a part of it. So if you didn't make it to this one, there's always next year and we hope we'll see you there.
course in person I've made coffee for? Oh. <laughs> is this the one? Yeah, there we go, this is a title. So who is this guy? Steve Compella. Okay. Former Marisburg United, Mamelodi Sundowns, Golden Arrows coach. Yeah, probably the by far the most decorated football coach in the country. extracted out the funds. Yeah. Okay. So you can separate out your funds yeah. for your pour overs. Yeah. Or you can leave it I'm in for your air press. So if you want more body in there, leave the funds in. So you're doing a pour over. 100%. Just leave it. Yeah. Check it out. But it actually separates out funds. So yeah. Is, it, is, that, is that the value add compared to the other kind of stuff? Um, in the line or in the range of these kind of grinders for for home users this is look this is very much on the prosumer class leading yeah. end so i would say the biggest advantage here is there isn't a 78 mil bow in any home right now 100 yeah. percent and this will put a 78 mil bow into the painting yeah. set variable speed so you can change the speed of your rotation power which arguably you can play with that yeah i can play with that um the workflow it's just next level, so it's clean. There's no mess because actually capturing everything yeah. here, and that is just the slim build. Is what I'm just like at a first hand. I'm really enjoying the slim build of the actual grinder. It's insane. It's a setup. But it's just, it fits in a space where it doesn't take up. And the, the quality in the cup is just phenomenal. Sure. And really, this, especially this one. Yeah. So like Lance Henrik is raging about this. He says for yeah. Volta, he hasn't found a grinder yeah. in between this yeah. and an EK. And how comparable is it in terms of price range for people to look at um, for, the, for other grinders in the market in this price range? Very hard to say because we're only landing the stock in November. Okay. We haven't even. We can only order That's in August. Exposed, okay. And who knows what's going to happen to the rand between then and. Okay. Yeah. But my first calcs were it's going to be somewhere in the 17 to 20 grand. Gotcha. Um, so yeah. it's not a cheap grinder, but yeah. 78 more burr. I mean, yeah. this is for a forever buying a busy cafe. This is yeah. going to be awesome. It's going to work as well. So it's commercial grade. Yeah. That can work at home. Yeah. Set, man. That's so cool. And then obviously there will be a 64. Yeah. Uh, which will be more affordable. Yeah. I think that'll come in at about maybe 15. We don't know yeah. yet. But yeah, 64 more burr, 78 more burr, yeah. espresso version, Volta version. Yeah. This yeah. is going to be good. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
almost billboarded. Just remember that big banner in Tribeca Shop. I remember walking past the Tribeca Shop at the Mall of Africa and just being like, oh my god, Harry Mall is a literal superhero. I literally rocked up at work with Fleur and there was this face. That's amazing, man. We have a we have a vlog called Roast Me Love. Oh yes, I've yeah. seen it on, on, on yeah. you. So Harry competed in the regional barista champs and you're about to find out how the, how the results follow you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, how do you feel about it? Pretty nervous as usual, as every year. How did it go? Very good. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Coffee? Good. Delicious. Colombia, eh? Yeah, Colombia, Hacienda Venecia. Yeah. It was delicious. We tasted it at the, the roast beef. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so we, we, our money's on Harry for the win in regionals. And, but I told him yesterday, Barney's coming for him. So Barney, I'll come for you, bro. <laughs> we, we're friends today, but at nationals. <laughs> yeah, I'll break his other arm. <laughs> it's the way to the ball, man. <laughs> That's the bet so far. How many people have won? Yeah, well, I don't know. 